Did you know that improper post-harvest handling can ruin agricultural products and they can even cause enough losses for the entire season? This is a common problem for mango farmers as mangoes are highly perishable after being picked farmers invert the mangoes to drain out the sap within 30 minutes to an hour the sap dripping stops removing the sap prevents damage to the mango skin in and which allows it to fetch a higher price each year over 60 million tons of mangoes are produced globally making it one of the most popular tropical fruits India produces half of the world's mangoes around 24.7 million tons annually despite the large number of mango farms very few Indian mangoes are distributed to the world market as the production is only enough to meet domestic consumption Indonesia and China are also among the world's top producing mango countries mango trees have a long lifespan providing farmers with a sustainable income over many years once established well maintained mango orchards can continue to produce high quality fruits for decades growing mangoes can be be a profitable venture but like any agricultural business mango farming comes with its own set of challenges commercial mango farmers must apply pest management strategies using biological control and pest Besides mango trees start bearing fruit in the sixth year of their life, the average yield of a mango orchard can range from 3 to 9 tons per acre with 400 to 600 fruit per tree mango harvesting is done when the fruit reaches the size and color required for the target market it must be done carefully to avoid bruising the fruit mangoes have a climacteric growth pattern meaning once they mature they continue to ripen after being harvested mangoes are often harvested while still green and firm so they can reach distant markets however they must must be developed enough to ripen properly and reach optimal quality therefore determining the right harvest time is crucial for the marketability of mangoes the best time to harvest mangoes is early in the morning or late in the evening when temperatures are cooler and the fruits are less likely to be damaged farmers use poles with nets to prevent the fruits from falling and getting bruised they leave a small stem on the fruit to extend shelf life mango trees can grow to heights of 30 to 40 feet making harvesting a challenge farmers use ladders or equipment to assist in picking the fruits from the higher branches on large mango farms a harvest team typically consists of 10 to 20 people one group picks while another sorts the mangoes on the spot the team works in coordination to ensure that the mangoes are harvested quickly and efficiently while maintaining a high quality product farmers often face the challenge of low mango prices during peak season to minimize market risk farmers must diversify their sales channels and process mangoes into value-added products after harvesting farmers load all the mangoes onto trunks to transport them to the packing house at the facility the mangoes are called to remove the field heat and reduce their temperature to the desired level extending the fruits shelf life sorting is done using various tools such as mango sorting machines these machines select the fruit by measuring size and color determining the ripeness of the mangoes packing and transporting the mangoes is critical requiring careful handling to avoid damaging the fruit which could lower its market value when stored at a temperature between 9 and 10 degrees celsius mangoes can maintain their quality for up to 21 days mangoes are a rich source of vitamins minerals antioxidants and fiber this promising fruit is widely exported to international markets creating opportunities for farmers to tap into glob mobile commerce with their sweet taste distinctive aroma and vibrant color mango juices offer an exceptional experience let's take a look at the mango juice production process at the factory the rollers driven by horizontal moving chains move the mangoes forward while simultaneously rotating them during the process workers can serve the fruit from all angles and pick out those that don't meet quality standards next the mangoes pass through a wave type fruit washer under high press water pumps the fruit rolls get thoroughly cleaned after that they flow with the water into the the next process workers then place the mangoes in boiling water for three to five minutes to stabilize the color and enhance the flavor this method helps to prevent oxidation and browning of the mangoes while softening the flesh to help facilitate pulping and juice extraction this specialized mango juice processing machine can completely remove the core and skin of the mango minimizing fruit flesh loss production capacity ranges from 5 to 20 tons per hour sterilization is a necessary step to ensure the shelf life of mango juice it can eliminate bacteria yeast and inhibit enzyme activity in the fruit juice next the juice is heated to a temperature of 85 to 95 degrees celsius before packaging the mango Mango juice is packaged in preset quantities which is essential for mass production the machinery can automatically transfer invert and fill the bottles finally the juice bottles are labeled ready for distribution to the 
Market dried mango is a popular and nutritious snack enjoyed by people all over the world. Have you ever wondered how these delicious treats are made in a factory? The process of making dried mango begins with carefully selecting mangoes that have reached perfect ripeness to ensure the best flavor and sweetness. After selection, the mangoes are washed to remove dirt and impurities. Workers then begin peeling the fruit, a crucial step to ensure uniform texture and appearance. In the final product, the mangoes are sliced into even pieces. The thickness of the slices may vary depending on the final products required the mango slices are placed in specialized drying machine machines these machines remove moisture from the mangoes while preserving their flavor and nutritional value the drying process can take anywhere from a few hours to several days factory workers continuously monitor factors such as temperature humidity and the condition of the mango slices to ensure that they meet the desired standards after being removed from the dryer the slices are allowed to cool coing helps prevent moisture from re-entering ensuring a longer shelf life for the dried mango finally the dried mango slices are carefully packaged into sealed boxes or bags to preserve their freshness and flavor in addition mangoes are also combined with other ingredients to create unique dishes have you ever tried mango sticky rice it's consistently ranked among the top mango based dishes in the world this dish is made with steamed glutinous rice the sticky rice is served with fresh mango slices and drizzled with sweet coconut milk the rip mango's natural sweetness provides a perfect balance with the chewy rice this simple dessert is extremely popular and can be found at almost any food store in thailand autumn provides ideal conditions for crops to reach optimal ripeness it is also a perfect time for american farmers to harvest and process agricultural products pomegranates thrive in warm climates the ideal temperature range for pomegranate growth is between 25 and 35 degrees Celsius when the conditions are H and dry during the fruit's growth phase it will contribute to a richer and sweeter flavor although the tree is drought tolerant regular irrigation is necessary in order to achieve the highest yields the United States is one of the largest producers of pomegranates in the world here pomegranate farms supply millions of tons annually serving both domestic and export markets the price range for fresh pomegranates can vary from 20 to 38 dollars per 25 box in 2023 pomegranate production in the US reached around 500,000 tons with exports to countries such as Canada South Korea and Japan India is also a country with a highly developed pomegranate industry harvest Hosting over 800,000 tons annually. Additionally, India is a major exporter with its pomegranates WI distributed across European, Middle Eastern, and Asian markets. Pomegranates typically begin ripening in late August and continue through November. Farmers must monitor the color change of the fruit pomegranates do not continue to ripen after being picked so determining the right harvest time is crucial the harvesting process is done manually farmers cut the stems to reduce the risk of damaging other fruits during transportation they gently place the pomegranates into cloth bags then pour them into large bins to avoid cracking the fruit immediately after harvest pomegranates are transported to the factory for preliminary processing and preserve first the pomegranates are cooled immediately to prevent spoilage then they are carefully inspected to remove any damaged or substandard fruits at the factory pomegranates can be packaged for the market when stored in cold conditions pomegranates can remain fresh for two to three months allowing enough time for distribution to distant markets the process of extracting pomegranate juice requires peeling removing the outer membrane and pressing the seeds to extract the juice after refining and pasteurization the juice is bottled and distributed to market domestic demand for pomegranates is increasing due to the growing trend of consuming nutrient-rich foods peaches grow best in areas with a low risk of late frost late frost can cause flowers to die due to low temperatures preventing fruit from forming the size of the fruit is related to the number of fruits on a tree the crop load is usually adjusted within 45 days manually thinning the fruit is labor intensive and costly requiring up to 130 labor hour per acre according to 2023 data china's peach production accounted for around 60 percent of the global total with more than 15 million tons annually major peach growing regions in china include shandong and he province the united states is also a prominent peach growing country in 2023 the u.s harvested around 650,000 tons of peaches with most being consumed domestically the peach harvest season begins in may and lasts until september depending on the peach variety and growing region peaches need to be harvested at the right time to ensure the best flavor and quality farmers usually pick the peaches by hand the manual harvesting process requires care as even a small brew can ruin the fruit peach pickers walk through the peach orchards handpicking the ripest 
Firmest peaches farmers move ladders across the orchards standing on top of them to pick peaches from the tops of the trees balancing on a ladder while focusing on the fruit and picking the best peaches is no easy feat however they strive to harvest the peaches before birds and small small mammals have a chance to get to them after arriving at the factory peaches are called to immediately halt the ripening process this conveyor belt can move around 70,000 pounds of peaches per hour workers begin by removing peach leaves and debris from the field then the peach Peaches are sorted by size and quality with substandard peaches being discarded once cleaned the peach peas are fed into an automatic peeling machine next the peaches are sliced or halved depending on the requirements of the final product the peaches are soaked in a sugar solution of water for preservation and to enhance the flavor then the peach slices are placed in a tin box with a soaking solution the canned peaches after being steeled are sterilized at high temperatures to eliminate bacteria and extend their shelf life the united states is one of the largest markets for peach consumption a significant amount of peaches is also packaged for the fresh peach market according to 2023 statistics americans consume approximately 1.2 million tons of peaches annually chestnuts are commonly grown in temperate and cool climate regions in the u.s states like california and michigan are major production areas with tens of thousands of acres dedicated to chestnut cultivation chestnuts begin to ripen from late september to early november when the husk turns brown and separates from the tree this indicates that they are ready for harvest manual chestnut harvesting typically occurs when the chestnuts have ripened and fallen naturally to the ground this process requires the farmer's meticulousness and patience chestnut harvesting tools are round cages attached to a long handle this allows farmers to roll them over the ground to collect chestnuts inside the cage this reduces the need for bending over frequently and speeds up the harvest process manual harvesting is somewhat slower but it allows farmers to control the quality of the product ensuring that only fully ripe and undamaged chestnuts are collected for large chestnut orchards farmers use sweepers to gather the chestnuts into rows these machines are equipped with fan systems to remove debris this not only increases efficiency but also ensures that the chestnuts retain their outer shell intact this machine is equipped with a powerful motor and flexible suction system the chestnuts are then sucked into a large container where they undergo a preliminary sorting process the vacuum cleaner also has a filtration system to remove leaves and small debris before processing chestnuts are washed to remove impurities such as dirt twigs and small fragments now next the chestnuts are sorted by size and quality walnuts provide significant economic value in many countries especially in the united states after five to seven years to mature healthy walnut trees can produce between 66 and 350 pounds of nuts a year a notable figure with substantial yield potential in 2023 California had approximately 355,000 acres of walnut orchards supplying up to 600,000 tons of nuts annually walnut harvesting has now been mechanized a hydraulic tree shaker is used to vigorously shake the tree trunk causing the walnuts to fall to the ground each shaker costs around $100,000 and is designed with a clamping jaw around the trunk and a soft pad to minimize damage to the tree when the walnuts fall they are gathered into rows and collected by mechanical harvesters the fan system and shields under the machine help remove debris and impurities leaving only quality walnuts behind after harvesting walnuts are taken to the processing plant to ensure final quality is great depending on market requirements the processing and storage of walnuts may vary whole walnuts are sorted by size and clean to remove dirt and impurities this not only prevents damage to the nuts but also protects their quality during storage the walnuts are then stored in temperature control facilities ready for processing when needed for shelled walnuts the nuts are fed into a cracking machine after shelling the kernels are sorted by size and color with any remaining shell fragments removed the walnut kernels are then rigorously inspected according to the highest quality standards before being packaged and brought to market. Another important step in the processing is drying the walnuts to reduce moisture extend shelf life and maintain main quality the drying process is carefully controlled to avoid over drying which could affect the flavor and nutritional value of the product English.